No, I'm ke I keep hearing all these. Okay. The, sometimes when you hear these real estate figures, they do not make sense at all. Like record low since 2009 on applications for new homes. And record sales for homes since November 2009. That's homes being sold in applications for loans to buy homes. I know. Something doesn't sound right. I know. Where, are there that many people actually buying with cash? I don't know, but if you have it, I have a house to sell. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines for today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what the press is saying. They said that the, unless the Republicans change the way they're doing business, which means they're going to have to abandon the Tea Party and abandon the immigration thing, uh, the, the problems they have with immigration and support gay rights and support abortion, they're not going to win the presidency. Unfortunately, what's causing the people on the left so much grief at the moment is that their shift, the country is now shifting in the direction of the Republicans, and you know, like hell is going to freeze over before Chris Christie, who worships the ground Obama walks on, is ever going to get a Republican nomination for anything again. He's going to—they think he's going to run as an independent uh, in New Jersey the next time. Oh, really? Yeah. And Obama to try and run the country without Congress because he's doing it for the people. That's what they said this morning. That Obama, I may have to start doing things by executive order because the Republicans. Our Republicans are so hung up on destroying my presidency that the only way that this country can be saved is to uh, is to basically take control of the country. It's called being a dictator, folks. I know he's going to try and run it without Congress. Why he's going to try to do an end run around Congress on everything. Okay, he uh, he's the Congress. What it is is the people on the left are pissed off about the press thing because they can't survive without the press. And, it's, and, it, and the Internal Revenue Service, they needed the IRS to be their bully. They don't have it now because uh, the IRS is basically, it's, they're, they're going, the first thing that's going to go is the Internal Revenue Service. I mean, they're going to do a house cleaning on that place like you would not believe. Obamacare is for all practical purposes dead in this nation now because of Obama's. You know, the, the, the person that is really mean and vindictive is the Chicagoan who's trying to handle a presidency like he was a Chicago alderman. Mm -hmm. And West may boost Syria rebels if Assad won't talk peace. Yeah, that's not likely to happen because the problem is the Syrian rebels are, are being ran by, uh, has been ran by the, uh, the uh, Al-Qaeda and all those other terrorist organizations. They already handed them Libya and they've handed them Egypt. You think they're going to hand them, hand them Syria now? The Russians are not going to allow it because Russians have problems with Muslim terrorists. And British soldier hacked to death in suspected Islamist attack. I know. Well, yeah, the, the White House this morning. Well, we're not, we have, to, we have to be very careful of what we say. And we're not going to declare it a terror. Well, they declared it a terrorist thing in Britain about five minutes after it happened. Because the guy is saying, praise Allah, Allah. You know, Akbar, all of these things, all the Muslims, and then he sits there live on a woman's cell phone and is proud of the fact that he is, uh, he is avenging, you know, the, the, the true Muslims in this world. But mm. do Obama, that's not a terrorist. Mm. IRS official letter, I have not done anything wrong. Oh God, she did, she did. Oh, for, this is from a, a Lois Lerner. Yeah, they said that uh, they, she didn't do anything wrong other than the fact that every lawyer in the universe said, what the F does she just do? She, she basically, okay, here's where, I, I worked on an episode of Rockford Files a long time ago when the, on the episode, uh, they told him, don't answer anything other than to say, I plead, to, I take the Fifth Amendment because they, if, if they told, because what happened was before he went in, somebody said, my name is, uh, my name is Joe Blow. And then I take, I plead the Fifth Amendment. He no longer could take the Fifth Amendment because he opened his mouth. She basically made a statement and then took the Fifth Amendment, which you're not allowed to do, which puts her in contempt of the... She goes to jail. That's how it works. And they said, here's the neat other thing. She cannot plead the Fifth Amendment in a courtroom now. Oh. If they try her in a criminal case, she blew it. She's got to plead that they said right now she's pleading the Fifth Amendment. Again, she can't plead the Fifth Amendment because she's already... Uh, negated that by making her statement. So the Fifth Amendment is out. They, she's either going to go to jail or she's going to have to talk to people now. And Israel to authorize four West Bank settler outposts. 
I know, and, and Obama's pissed off about it again. Like he, they don't like him in Israel. They don't like him in in Italy. They don't like him anywhere in the world, because Obama basically he knows that more. He, you know, well, you're gonna, you in order, to, you're gonna, you can't be uh, good members of the community unless you basically do what I think you should do, which nobody in the world is doing. An Uzbek citizen arrested in Idaho accused of supporting militants. Yeah, well, but don't worry, he's not a terrorist. Hmm. And Imran Khan's party wins revote in Karachi. Protests expected. Yeah, because um, what happens is, is that, okay, here the, you know how badly the ruling people in Venezuela are, is they're, they're legitimately saying we barely won the election, which means they did not win the election, period. Mm -hmm. And Chinese Premier Li seeks trust in India and border issue irks. Well, yeah, because India, basically India and China have been at war with another, one way or another. I mean, the Himalayas, part of the Himalayas is in India and part of the Himalayas in, are in China. And uh, well, what happens is, is that people, there's no such thing as a line that says you're in China. And the Indians pick up people all the time that basically, um, okay, my, my family used to own a place, the, half, the back part of the property was in Canada, and the front part, actually we still own the property, but the back was in Canada and the front was in the United States. And when we would go to certain part of the problems, and we'd go in the back of the property in the woods to go cut trees down, that we'd have Canadian police, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. And then we'd say, well, I live here. And they said, well, do, can we see your passport? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any passport, it's my property. And they said, well, we're going to have to do, do an inv They call the authorities up and say that we've got a person here that says that they live on this property. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is what would happen every time we go to the property to cut wood for fireplace, is that the Canadian police would come by and what, what are you doing here in Canada? Mm -hmm. well, you don't have, you don't put a fence across the back, which is actually what we did. We eventually put a fence up with a gate on it and put, you know, and said, remember, when you go beyond this fence, you're in another country. So my mother really was pissed about that job. But it was my father's idea of being an asshole to the British, to the Canadian government. Because he, on the other side of the thing, he had a sign painted, uh, you know, enter the, the land of the free and the home of the brave, not the home of the a-holes that you're just leaving. And they really hated that sign. And Can's audience walks out on Drive sequel. Oh God, blood ties. It was. They said it was. It. Okay. Here's the problem. The people at Cannes missed the memo. The memo said this was supposed to be about women and women directors and women's issues. So what they did, they went to the. They went to ultra violence this year. Well, isn't it because of the jury? Who selects which films the, are in it? The, no, but the the films that are submitted tend to be overly violent this oh. year. The ones that they have a common theme of the films that were submitted that they all tended to be extremely violent in one way or another. I mean, oh. Robert Redford's one-man thing is actually somewhat, well, the violence of nature. Jerry Lewis is the, the, the violence of aging. Um, the Alexander Payne, the, you know, the violence that goes along with it. It's all got to do with violence in one form or another, and they really did miss the, the no, that's what happens if somebody sends out a memo and they don't read it. Did they really send out a memo? Yeah. They did oh. send out a memo that this year was going to be the year of the woman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And top White House aides informed of IRS troubles, but didn't tell Obama. I know. Nobody, does anybody believe that for three weeks his people knew and that for six months the people, okay, the person that had 118 meetings with the President of the United States at no time ever brought up the fact that there was an investigation going on of his department with the President of the United States. Uh, Somehow yeah. that would have been one of the first things. Yeah, they yeah. Uh, they said that, well, he does, the only thing he remembers is, I, I went to the White House for the Easter egg roll with my children. Other than that, I remember nothing about the 118 visits I did to the White House. Mm -hmm. So. And, and, but they did all say, they asked me, they refreshed him. Uh, it says on the thing, it's, uh, it says on what you're all virtually, 75% of your visits, it says, due to instigating Obamacare. And, and, but they couldn't remember that that's what they were there for. And the meetings all started exactly the same moment that, that the Tea Party started getting harassed. Isn't that amazing? Mm. And who's to blame for murky regulation and IRS scandal? Agency or lawmakers? Oh, it's the Republicans. Sorry, Bush and Republicans, I'll tell you that. Mm. 
And White House's counsel told April 24th of preliminary IRS. Yeah, she likes that when she's read it twice. Oh, I did? I must be getting close to that. Well, no, because we have all those things, but it's Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal I Kingdom. I actually keep track. Okay, this one I heard last night. I thought this was a good one. The guy's in a hamburger place. He's got himself a root beer freeze, a root beer smoothie. And uh, all of a sudden, he gets that infamous, you know, uh, freeze, uh, freeze brain thing. And he said, well, what happens? You know, when, when you get a brain freeze and the guy that was a cook said, well, you're not qualified to be an elected official. 